parable, the parable of the sword. These certain scriptures, Jesus tells the parable, then later on, he gives an explanation to it. The disciples had uh, uh, said, what, what does this mean? What are you trying to say here, Lord? And he did a little parenthetical thing in between explaining why he speaks in, in parables and those forms and things like that. But this parable right here is very important because uh, it is the first one. And it's one that Jesus actually teaches. Okay, He actually uh, gives an explanation. So he tells the parable and then he comes along and he gives a... Uh, I should say a, a blow blow understanding of it. So what we see here is that the uh, the word of the kingdom was sown on four different types of soil, and all four of these seeds responded initially, but only one was really understanding what was going on, and only one bore fruit. And we see that you bear fruit in keeping with repentance. False prophets, we did a lot of cross-references on this, false prophets are known by their fruit, and that bad cannot produce good fruit, nor can uh, a good fruit produce bad fruit. And the fruit determines the outcome. So what's going to happen if it's bad fruit, it's going to be cut down, and it's going to be burned. Also, the fruit reveals the nature of the heart, and it really reveals what the heart is abiding in. If the heart is abiding in darkness, or if the heart is abiding with the Lord. So what we see is that the devil snatched away the word of the kingdom from the first one. There was no fruit. There was no repentance. Well, the second one, there was affliction and persecution. When that came along, and this affliction and persecution is due to the word of the kingdom. In other words, it was brought about because of the professed word that they had received. It causes it to fall away. There was no fruit. There was no repentance. They were not following. And then we saw uh, the other seed was one about worry, about the wealth of the world, and it choked out the word. There was no fruit. There was no repentance because it was focusing on the world. So what you see in this is that you might see some uh, initial evidence. You might see somebody trying to be better, trying to be good, but they truly have not received the word. And none of these entered the kingdom. Now, that's really important for us to understand. None of these entered into the kingdom, which is the question that comes to us today. What of us? What of you? Where do we stand in relationship to all this? I think we do well to go back and read through this and take it for the Lord and say, Lord, am I one that is bearing good fruit? Am I the good soil? I think a lot of the professing churches, as a matter of fact, I say all the time that three-fourths of the church, those that would profess to be believers that go to church or religiously active and etc., three-fourths of them likely are not in proper relationship with God, likely are not saved. And I base it upon this parable right here, because three-fourths of these folks truly were not of God. I'm Dale from the Precept Classes in Coleman, Alabama. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.